How's it going everybody? My name is Salty and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at my new and improved PPSH-41 class setup here in Black Ops Cold War. Now, before we get started here, I want you guys to make sure you hit that subscribe button for me so you don't miss any of my daily Call of Duty videos. And then make sure you also smash the like button so this video can reach other people looking for the same kind of content. Let's jump right into it. So as you guys can see here, this is going to be a five attachment class setup for the PPSH where I like to run Perk Greed. Perk Greed can be found right here below all of your perks in the wild card slot. This will give you the ability to use six perks. So starting in the class setup here, we have the Spetsnaz Compensator to start. You're definitely going to need a vertical recoil control attachment. If you're still struggling, even with the Compensator, you can definitely slide down here to the KGB Eliminator. That'll give you 17% versus 12 here with the Compensator. For the barrel, you're going to need the 14.9 inch Ranger. After going through all the statistics of the weapon, it has a very, very good fire rate, but the bullet velocity was abysmally slow. I mean, it was at like 200 meters per second which is just not usable. It has a great effective damage range of 15.24 meters there, but the bullet velocity wouldn't even keep up with that effective damage range. That's the biggest thing that really needed to change here. Down to the underbarrel, I have the Spetsnaz grip for both vertical and horizontal recoil control. Like I said, you're gonna need the recoil control attachments here. For the magazine, I have the 55 round drum to not sacrifice any aim down sight speed, but still get some extra bullets into my magazine. And then for the stock, I'm going with the Raider for the most amount of sprint to fire speed then the aim walking movement speeds. This was one of the most requested weapons from me is a five attachment PPSH class setup. And this is the best one I could build for you guys. I actually really enjoyed using it. It's not my favorite SMG in the game, but I understand it's a very popular weapon in Black Ops Cold War. So just being having the ability to create a good class setup for you just makes me feel great inside. So I highly recommend you give it a go. Let me know what you think of it down in the comment section down below. We're about to jump into an absolutely banger gameplay over on Rush. So I hope you guys enjoy. Objectives. Alrighty, we have a PPSH, and definitely not my favorite SMG in this game, it just, something about it feels off. I can't really explain what it is, but something about the PPSH kind of feels a little wonky. And I think it just might be the fact that The bullet rag may be off with the weapon, but it could also just be my internet too. Like I can't really explain it. It doesn't mean I dislike it. It's just not my favorite. Two hostiles removed. Like when it comes down to it, what I base my SMGs, I prefer SMGs that pack a punch, I suppose, and this one has really low damage. You're there. <clears throat> so I guess it's just when it comes down to it at the end of the day, it's just preference of mine that I prefer weapons that hit a little harder. I thought that was a sticky and I was about to be really upset. Our team's walloping them. Whoa, that guy was on a nine? I didn't even realize that. I need to stay here for a second in case they... Yep, they, they did exactly what I thought they would do. We got three war machine shots left. Team's got the hill. Might be able to pick up some if I can get up here. Pushed up. I gotta back up. They spawn behind us here. They both went that way. Interesting. They're all spawning on me. Oh, 
I'm not feeling good. I gotta run, dude. This is not it. So run, run, run. I can't believe I'm alive, Loki. My frames are dropping like crazy. I've got a bad feeling. Somebody died right here. They're also all on my right. And I'm stuck. I just, I saw, did I not call that earlier in the game? I get stuck by a grenade almost every game without fail. Without fail. I don't know where that guy just shot him from. Right there. Not challenging him. Okay, we got a spy plane. We can still maybe get a nuke here. I'm feeling good about the lobby as a whole. I can't hit that guy. No, I can. I knew he would chase me. The downfall of a lot of people is going to be those. Going for revenge. What's crazy is I actually don't mind this class. This class is actually quite good. If I get stuck by another grenade, I, I don't know what I'm going to say. I need to get out this way, so I need teammate to push. I'm not going that way, I guess, because they're probably going to keep... No, they might not spawn there. Oh, teammate got a spy plane, W. W, W, W. Oh, they might spawn here now. No. No, I have a spy plane. If I choke this, I just stink. Teammate's gonna go chase some kills this way. I'll go with you. Good stuff, teammate. Now we get a UAV to use. I always lose frames over here. Wait. Okay, he's AFK. I should have died there. Honestly, I should have died. I'm running out of time. Okay, that's teammate. I'm watching my back because I don't... I don't trust this. 
Oh, now I'm really not feeling safe. I need one kill, so honestly, I need them to push me. I really can't. Well, actually, there's windows in here. I can't really do anything until that's gone. Okay. There it is. Come. I think that was teammates air patrol. I think. This is a hill that we can win off of, so I really gotta execute that. I'll hit the nuke. Sixteen two. Oh, they had all their players left the game, and I didn't even realize that. I was stressing for nothing. I thought maybe they were gonna make a comeback with the straight front and the attack chopper. The person that got the straight front ended up in the game probably because they got air patrolled. They're probably pissed. I always, I always get mad when my streaks get air patrolled. All right, man. 64-3. GG's. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you could make sure you hit that like button for me, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to the channel, make sure you also smash that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.